Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell, your friendly chart nerd, taking a look at the markets today for April 9th, 2019. So my goodness, yesterday was one of those days where we just had very pensive price action. It really didn't go anywhere. Um, if we take a look at the markets, you can see that the diamonds dropped uh, 94 cents. The SPY, gained a whopping 22 cents. The, the Q's lifted by 47 cents and IWM slipped by 26 cents. So that's really a market that is searching for some kind of inspiration. And I mentioned that yesterday, that there was the possibility that the market could see light and choppy price action. We had a light economic calendar. Um, not much for earnings and today is very much the same. We don't have a whole lot to um, to really hang on to here in the market. And the market has a few things that it may be waiting on to try and get that inspiration. So let's take a look at the indexes here and see what we see in the price action of the chart. First off, we had um, the diamonds pulling back and it was largely let down by Boeing. Uh, Boeing had a bad day yesterday, pulling it back. And what we did is we pulled back here in the market. We're trying to just barely hang on to that price support right there, trying to hang in that area. And if we hang on to that, that's a good sign um, overall. I think we, we certainly could. Our current trend right here, there's our first high or low, breaking through is um, relatively flat. So any kind of a rest consolidation or pullback in this area is not a bad thing. It's just, um, once again, the market kind of trying to find some inspiration, trying to figure out which, what it can do, how much it can move. Now, the SPY, believe it or not, looking at the SPY here, the SPY actually eked out by 22 cents an eight day winning streak so even though we had a dark candle in here we closed positive on that day so we had an eight day winning streak um, chalked up um, yesterday in the spy spy is looking healthy here there's no doubt about it um, everything is looking good but once again just not a whole lot of energy to um, to pick a direction to to go uh, one way or another. So as long as we hold above this support area, we're really good shape. If we pull back, consolidate, if we rest in here, uh, that would be okay. And at the at this very moment, as I look at uh, futures markets, futures are flat to just slightly lower this morning. And that's really kind of translated itself around the world. Asian markets were were uh, mixed, but mostly mostly just modestly up. And then um, European markets are pretty much flat this morning. So while the market's looking for this inspiration, we're not getting much help from uh, foreign markets. And um, so we have to deal with our technicals here and just realize that it could be a very, very dull market and really um, uh, a price action that's very pensive, waiting, waiting on a couple things. So we have a trend. We're holding on to support. That's a good sign here in the SPY. But don't be surprised to see a little bit of rest in, um, or consolidation in the SPY as well. Let's take a look at the Q's. Q's also made a new high yesterday, climbing a whopping 47 cents. Um, it's really trying to push for this new high up here, this new record high. And we're out here in the middle of this zone where that is certainly possible. But with the market showing just that little bit of pensiveness here ahead of um, second quarter earnings, Again, don't be surprised to see a little bit of rest or pullback here. We're in good shape holding above this support level, and as long as we stay up there, we can consolidate for a period of time, and there's no problem with that. It really also would not be that big a surprise to see some kind of catalyst come into the market to really drive the market up here to test that high. Once we reach up there, though, watch this closely, okay? 
Then let's take a look at IWM. Poor IWM, even though it's rallied back up and broke above this high, still challenged by this price resistance in here. And um, maybe, um, uh, well, who, who knows? Maybe we can find the inspiration to break on through, to move up through that level. Or if uh, we start that pullback to test this area down in here as support. So let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX um, just really showing nothing yesterday. Um, popped up, gapped up on, um, yesterday, and then just really kind of drifted back down. Not really going anywhere in here. Holding down here toward these lows. Uh, again, it's like the, the VIX is also looking for that inspiration for something. But there's little to no fear, um, apparently, in the market. And um, no one is interested in selling. The buyers are kind of pensive. So we're kind of in a wait and see mode here on the market. Let's take a look at T2122, which is the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see that four week new high, new low ratio, while we drove, uh, you know, bounced around here yesterday, diamonds down, um, spy up, we just kind of hung here um, in, in this um, bearish reversal zone. We're up here in that very high area where a pullback is possible. Doesn't have to, as you can see, we can bounce around up in here. But I must admit, I have in my entire career, I don't think I've ever seen um, T2122 hang the way it did up here during that period of time. So that's pretty rare, but it is possible. And so we could hang around up in here trying to find that inspiration to maybe move higher. Let's take a look. Oh, but but just keep in mind, even though we may tr find a way to move higher, there's a lot of room to the downside. So don't be too surprised if selling um, finds that catalyst to, to move us along either. So don't just be all one-sided. Let's take a quick look at our um, economic calendar today, which really is kind of remarkable in uh, really just a light, light calendar here. As you can see, we have the Johnson Report here at 10 o'clock. Unlikely that's going to move the market around. And you can see there's really nothing else in here to move the market on that economic calendar but and, and it could be we, we're waiting for that cpi and the fomc cpi is supposed to come in uh, according to consensus in pretty good shape so wouldn't expect that to do a whole lot of moving around and then we pretty much know that the fomc is they're not planning any interest rate rises so it, we may not find much inspiration here we may have to wait all the way over to here where we start hitting um, earnings um, on second quarter with the big banks uh, before we find that inspiration to really move let's take a look on the earnings calendar we had just over 20 companies reporting earnings today um, nothing of major consequence um, in those earnings reports this morning although there there are you know companies to be aware of that are reporting earnings um, PSMT is is one that's um, kind of a notable that maybe we will be reporting today um, SJR SJR reporting today looks like looks like that eh, nope it hasn't reported yet and WDFC um, reporting today. Those are some of the notables, but and, and you can see that not really particularly notable <laughs> overall. Um, just kind of, well, the market's just going to be searching for some kind of inspiration. That's all there is to it. So let's, um, with that, I want to um, wish everyone a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you click that bell icon. Also, when you click that subscribe button, there's a little pop up. Click that bell. That makes sure that you get notified every time I upload a video and, and by the way there's there's more than 500 videos now on the 
on the channel with uh, daily videos and lots of educational stuff. So please make sure that you subscribe if you uh, feel that it's worthy. And please do me a favor. Please sh share that information with other folks. You know, share it over there on Facebook and Twitter, your other feeds. Make sure to click that thumbs up button and leave a comment. That helps a ton as well. Thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. I truly truly appreciate it so let's take a look at some stocks that could be could be you know setting up trying to uh, make something happen here in the market take a look at gis gis um, a, a nice follow-through day yesterday just a beautiful trend going on here one of those consumer defensive companies where the market gets a little bit nervous maybe and some of those consumer defensives come up beautiful chart pattern here looking good uh, GIS might be one for your list one to pay attention to take a look at Visa Visa could be setting up here a really nice trending uh, move getting a little bit of a hammer pattern here right off of uh, the trend line and needs a little bit of a spark to move a little a little higher here but uh, visa looking very very good potentially setting up for a trade we could take a look at cisco Cisco, nice little consolidating move with a bullish engulf there yesterday, trying to set up and just continue this stair step climb up. Now, let's keep in mind if we take a look at a longer term chart on Cisco, there is a big resistance high uh, coming in here, but there may be still some upside room in that chart. So kind of keep an eye on Cisco, but it's looking really, really good in the chart pattern here right now. Procter & Gamble did a great job yesterday. Another one of those uh, consumer defensive companies really perking up yesterday, finding that inspiration to move higher, a uh, beautiful chart pattern. Um, that might be one to pay attention to. You might also look at um, Oracle. Oracle is a little bit choppy. You can see lots of wicks and tails here in this chart, but you can see this breakout. This is a huge breakout. And um, if we can hold support right in this area and find those buyers, to perk up through here, um, Oracle may set up for a potential trade. Keep an eye on trades like JD. JD hanging in there really, really well, moving over, consolidating over to the trend. JD may be coming in. Momo, Momo, another one of those uh, Chinese stocks waiting for inspiration, more likely, from um, a trade deal. But you can see this nice trend consolidating over, waiting for that move to the upside so lots of those kind of things out there showing really good signs and there's really really good charts in a lot of different places take a look at bby bby making that move breaking through a resistance area here in the chart might need a little bit of rest or consolidation a little bit more rest or consolidation before that can move higher but certainly worth keeping an eye on a uh, stock like payx payx there's that beautiful little consolidation move just kind of taking a rest and a break here um, really trying to uh, find some uh, some legs here on uh, the trend yesterday trying to perk up just needs a little bit more energy to maybe pop that through so payx might be one to watch so with that everyone um, please understand that any of these charts that i that i post are not a recommendation to buy or sell they're just ideas that you might put on your watch list to evaluate keep an eye on uh, for potential trades uh, watch them closely and build that good quality watch list. You know, one of the things that I do um, that's really, really important to me is I don't chase everything that's happening in the market. As a matter of fact, I narrow a watch list down to only stocks that I think have really good trend, really good price pattern, concise price action. I don't like all the all kinds of whippy um, wicks and tails in the chart. I want those simple and easy charts to read that have a nice trend. And um, I qualify those, uh, those charts based on um, what I want to see in volume, making sure that they have plenty of volume um, in, in their trading and also that they fit me for price. 
So I keep a watch list that's fairly concise and um, that's where the majority of my trades come from. And I'm always looking through those, marking up charts, looking for trades. It is, it, it does happen from time to time something um, out in the market really shifts or changes and I'll add a stock that I haven't looked at for some time because it's developed a trend. But other than that, I stay very, very close to a particular watch list. I've built a career doing that. I don't need to chase everything moving in the market. I just need a, um, a, a set of good quality charts to follow. And I... I uh, to be honest, guys, I, I, I am never out of a trade. Um, if I want to trade, there's more stocks to trade out of my watch list than I could possibly have money for. So kind of keep that in mind. You don't have to be racing around and chasing everything. Build a good quality watch list. That can be very, very helpful to your trading. And by the way, if um, if you've not um, seen videos on uh, my videos on that, take a look under the public education playlist. There's quite a few videos in there and I do talk about the subject of planning, building watch lists and things like that in some of those videos. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. And if you're struggling as a trader, I just really want to continue to encourage everyone not to give up. I know trading is difficult. In fact, it's one of the most difficult businesses I've ever been in because it, it tests you in every way imaginable. Test your emotions, test your hangups about money, test your skills, test your discipline, test your ability to adhere to a trading plan and a set of rules. And it, it is really a really, really challenging business. But believe me when I tell you this, it's worth it. If you work through those issues, if you learn about yourself, and, and that's what it requires, you're going to have to learn about yourself. Um, um, really work hard at um, having a, a good quality trade plan and developing the discipline to follow it. Anybody can make this business work. Uh, believe me, if I can, you can. Just keep up the effort. Never give up on that dream. All right? Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. We'll talk to you all bright and early Wednesday morning, and I wish you all the best.